A Lodi City Council member arrested and booked into the San Joaquin County Jail today. Now new details are emerging about the charges he's facing. The mayor of Lodi says he asked Shakir Khan for his resignation, which he provided from jail. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 5. I'm Nikki Lorenzo. And I'm Eric Rucker in tonight for Eric Harriman. Fox 40's Karma Dickerson has been following this story all day. She joins us now live from Lodi with the latest. And Karma, this is not the first time that Khan has been in trouble with the law, correct? No, it's not. And as you mentioned, we've been following it all day, but really in the last few minutes, there's been a flurry of activity, a lot of back and forth. As you mentioned, the mayor saying the mayor of Lodi here saying that he went down to the jail and secured that resignation. However, I just spoke with Khan's attorney and his attorney said that that was premature, that his client is not in fact resigning his seat as a Lodi city council member. Council member Khan present. This was Shakir Khan last night, fulfilling his duties as a Lodi City Council member. And here he is just 12 hours later, being arrested, accused of using fraud to obtain that same city council seat, or as the San Joaquin County Sheriff put it. To undermine, manipulate, and violate one of our most fundamental rights here in our country, and that is the right to free and fair elections. According to sheriff's investigators, they began looking into Khan in 2019 when an uptick in violence led them to an alleged illegal gambling operation that led to Khan being charged in 2020 with gambling, fraud and money laundering. However, today, investigators announced they found other evidence when they searched his home two years ago. We found um, sealed and completed ballots. They say a concerned citizen led them to another red flag, multiple voter registrations that tied to Khan. We located roughly 70 names um, that were registered to share either Shakir Khan's house, his email, or his phone number. They tried tracking down the people who were registered to see the circumstances of their registration and vote cast. That's not your signature? So she never put that or not, not anything? Not the sheriff's office says these body camera video excerpts showed Khan registered people out of the district under his own address, filled out ballots for people, and registered people to vote without them understanding what happened. But according to Khan's attorney, Alan Sawyer, it may have been the sheriff's deputies who were intimidating. How these people felt having someone in uniform show up at their door years after they voted, asking them to verify certain things about their voting behavior. Sawyer questions whether the sheriff's office were the right ones to conduct this investigation. I think this investigation would, be, would have been better served to have had the Secretary of State who has the domain over elections, who are trained on how to approach voters. So in addition to the gambling investigation, Shakir Khan now faces charges, uh, false filing of a declaration of candidacy, uh, registration of a fictitious person, attempting to vote more than once, a series of voter related and voting related felonies at this point. So as we continue to follow this developing story, we're going to try to put all the pieces together for you as best as we can. Make sure that you can check back in with us at six o'clock, because as we say, the further it goes into the day, the more the circumstances seem to be changing in this case. But what we can say, you know, definitively, it certainly has been a troubling couple of days for Shakir Khan. Reporting from Lodi, Karma Dickerson, Fox 40 News.